Hello and welcome back to my let's build a decent FPV mini quad um, or bang in mini quad because it was made from bits from Banggood. Um, I split the last this episode up into about three parts. So this part we're going to be looking at focusing on soldering up the flight controller with diagrams etc. The next part will be about how to do things beta flight and the previous one was to do with ESCs. I'll link that above. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the flight controller. So... If I can get that into shot, and hopefully you can then. Oh, come on, come on, camera. There we go. Move into the middle of the shot. I'm getting better at this uh, taking pictures stuff. Right, so what we're going to do is solder up all the pads we're going to need on our um, flight controller. So it's a very small flight controller, and the text is not very good. So I will talk you through which ones I'm soldering as I go through them. I will be referring to a manual that I've got as I do this, so hopefully it'll all be clear. So the first and easiest thing to do is we have a ground, an LED, a 5 volt and a buzzer minus, these four here. So I'm just going to solder those all up. In fact, I'm just going to turn the temperature down so I'm on, not on incredibly high temperatures, um, which is what I needed on the, uh, the other part of the board. Okay, right, so it's now back down to 400 degrees, so a little bit of solder on the tip. I'm having cable issues at the moment. Okay, so now we're going to do the video in and video out, which is these two pins here. So they're a little bit more. Right, so next we're going to do um, for the receiver. So I use. FR Sky, so I'm going to use the ground, which will be this one here. I'm going to be doing 5 volts, which is this one. Oh, a little bit of solder. And I'm going to be doing um, R3, which is this one here. There we go. So that's all your bits for your FR Sky. Okay, then I want to have one for my um, Smart Audio or Tramp Telemetry, so I'm going to use T6 for that. Here we go. Oh, sorry. I've realised I've just got that one wrong. That's T4. So I am going to use T4. I'm using that for something later on. So I'm just going to put T4 in here. I'm just going to do T6. Okay, so that's all those solders that I need to do. That's a little bit more hard work than I thought it was going to be because it's so very, very small. But we've now got soldered up video in, video out. We have uh, T6, which will be smart audio or tramp, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these two, which I'm going to do is a slightly separate thing I'm going to talk about later. And my receiver in, 5 volts, and my ground for that. So... That should give me everything I need to have for my flight controller. Okay, so now we've uh, soldered up all the points we need to solder on the flight controller. What we're going to do is now start connecting some of the wires up. So I have got myself some silicon coated wire. Silicon coated wire is really good. It is very, very useful stuff. So I've just got some links of that that I happen to have around. You can buy the stuff from Amazon or at various other places. Do try and get a silicon wire. It just makes it an awful lot easier to work with. The other thing that's quite handy to have is some helping hands. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this set up. I'm going to do it to the back to make my life a little bit easier. But I just have to remember which ones I'm soldering to. Set up like that. There we go. And then I can then begin soldering. Okay, as always with any wire you're using, a little bit of solder on the tip to start with. And just give it a little coating, a little tinning. Make life a little bit easier. Okay, so once you've soldered up your wire and you want to push it through the little hole, what you want to do is get a little bit of solder on your tip, heat up the point that you want to join it up to. And then push it through like that. There we go, so that's our first wire. Right, so now we've got our cables for our receiver. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room on this because I, I think I'll give myself a bit of length and I'll this cable's not too heavy so I think what I'll do is I'll clip this here this point trim the ends off again Pin the ends up. There we go. So let's get some focus. So this is an XM Plus receiver. Um, so it only has three cables that go to it. So they are a ground, a live, uh, sorry, a five volt, and a receiver um, or a signal pad. So that's all I want to do. So I just need to connect these up in the right order. Um, first of all, all I'm going to do is I'm going to tin up the tin up the pads. Okay, so those pads are now sorted out. Right, so now you can see that if you look at this diagram here, you can see that the uh, the S bus is the one on the right. 5 volt is the one in the middle and ground is the one on the left. So we just solder these together and away we'll go. So that's now all soldered together. Whoop. Now I've put this in now and I've done it early um, just because it makes it easier for me. Um, also I've not given myself too much length, I've given myself plenty of room. Um, I probably could shorten these cables down a little bit but they are pretty good where I want to put it in the drone so happy with that so moving on um, we will do connect up the LED lights for the back right so the great thing here is this already comes with a little wiring loom so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this out get that out of the way and I just need to work out roughly how far I need to go so if I lay this in I know I'm going to need a bit of room and I want a little bit of wriggle room but I think that is probably about right Okay, so all those ends are now tinned up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is solder them onto the board. So this is ground, LED, 5 volt and buzzer. So I know the buzzer is green and the LED is yellow. So let's get those out of the way first. Solder those in from the back, that gives us the connection over here, so that will run to the back of the drone. We'll plug that in. That's the receiver, so that's going to come up and round over the top, round underneath possibly, um, and that's going to go up there. Right. 
Right, so what do we do next? So we need to get the smart port audio connected up, so that will we'll use our green wire for. Okay, so now I'm just going to connect the video out, which goes into this port here. So, okay, so we're now going to connect the audio out cable as well. I'm not going to do the audio, uh, the video in cable. Sorry, video. I'm just going to do video out for the time being. I will do video in slightly later on. So that is our flight controller the initial wiring sorted. I've still got to do video in, um, but beyond that, that's um, part of our my video I'll do on FPV. So now what I'm going to do is just quickly put this into the frame and um, show you what that looks like, and then we'll go into beat flight. So here's the bottom part of our frame. Here is our flight controller. Here is the top part of our frame. So what we're going to do is we take the flight control and make sure the arrow is facing the right way so it needs to face this way around. Ignore all the cables that are too long. Then you're going to place it over those holes. And then in here, somewhere, is the screws. There we go. There we go. So I'm just going to finger tighten these up for the moment because I will need to do a little bit more work but I just wanted to finish up showing you guys what the basic parts of the stack would look like right so now we've got everything sorted on here we can now we've now screwed the bottom plate in well, loosely in for the time being I'm just going to make sure all the cables are running where I want them to run which is currently down the middle like so I can then place this over the top like that ignoring all the cables that are coming out everywhere and that should give us what the frame will pretty much look like now if I hold this sideways you can see there's not a lot of space at the bottom here um, but there is enough to get by so it's a, quite a tight fit there but there's a lot of room in the back just over here for the receiver and all the other bits and pieces so now let's quickly fire up in uh, beta flight and make sure everything is working so as I said at the start of this video, I've split this up into three separate parts. So uh, the next part will be the beta flight piece. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe. I've just managed to go past the 300 subscribers mark, so I'm quite happy with that. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time.